How's it going guys and welcome to Gaming Evolved. I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Rainbow Six Siege closed beta. So before we get into it, if you guys do go on and enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button down below. But uh, anyways guys, let's just hop right into it. So first off, we've got some news before we start talking about any opinions or reviews of the game, and they've actually extended the beta period by three days. So this is really good news, especially for people who haven't gotten into the beta yet. There's still a small chance that you actually might be able to catch a little bit of gameplay before it expires on Thursday. So hopefully you guys do get a chance to get in. A couple of my friends actually just got in this morning because what happened is basically some of the codes weren't able to actually go through and they didn't send some emails out. So a lot of people who registered and should have gotten in didn't actually get in and they're trying to fix that and that's basically why they extended it out three days so overall really good thing that they did this because a lot of people who didn't get in or they just got in like halfway through the beta they're gonna have a lot more time to play and then people who didn't get in at all will also have a couple of days to actually try out the game decide if they want to buy it and figure out if it's good or not so overall a really awesome thing to change and also if you haven't gotten into the closed beta don't worry it sounds like they're actually gonna be having an open beta that's just for everyone that's free and I'm not really sure when they're actually going to be doing this although I hope that it's sometime in like early November so that way we have at the end of October we have the battlefront beta and then right after that we can have the open beta for this so a lot of great news coming out of this week but uh, anyways guys let's just hop into the gameplay what's good what's bad do I think this is worth the buy so first of all let me say that I am a complete noob you guys will see this in the gameplay I'm pretty dog shit at this game but overall I had a ton of fun even when you're doing poorly unless it's just over and over again if you're getting kills in between it and you're you know blowing through walls or you're rappelling down a house and you're upside down and you shoot someone it just feels absolutely incredible I don't know if it's just because I've never done that before and maybe it'll lose its lust after a couple of weeks but really the gunplay itself feels very solid the weapon balance does have a couple of things here and there especially with the riot shield that tends to be really really annoying and maybe they have some kind of other operator with like a grenade launcher that can counter that really easily but honestly we'll just have to see when the game actually releases and we see all the different characters and operators put into the game but overall Overall, I'm really impressed with how they've actually gone about it, and there's a lot of things that I like. First of all, the destruction is on point, blowing through drywall and all the wood barricades and all that type of stuff. It just feels absolutely incredible. The breaching charges, the grappling hooks, grenades, explosives, incendiaries, all those different gadgets really just add to this game, and overall, I am really enjoying my experience with this game. So, there's a lot of things that it has going for it. The gameplay is really nice, the graphics are really nice, destruction's on point, the map design seems really nice so far. There's a decent amount of verticality you can breach through ceilings and floors and you can just repel upside down down buildings like honestly I think that's one of my favorite features and overall it seems like a very solid game overall but there are a couple criticisms I have and a lot of people seem to be upset about these and they really need to be addressed so first of all the matchmaking does have some problems I realize it is a beta this is probably one of the things they're trying to test out because it does have a little like rate your round in the bottom corner so that way you can kind of rate how the balance was was one team just completely overpowered was it stacked Things like that really need to be addressed and the biggest problem I've had is when I'm trying to boot into a round. Some people get really lucky or they just have an awesome round and they can click find a match, they hop in and they're in a game within like 15 seconds. And that has happened a couple of times to me, but more often than not I'm left in a loading screen and then I can sit there anywhere from a couple of minutes all the way up to like 10 or 15 minutes and I end up just like resetting it because I think it timed out. And honestly I think this is something that they really just want to test on the beta and they're trying to fix, but really it is something that is incredibly annoying and needs to be addressed. So on the other hand, you also have team imbalance. And this happened a couple of times, though it's not quite as common, where I had one round where there was literally no one on the enemy team. We spawned in, it said you won, and it just finished the round. So it's probably something that they can fix relatively easily, hopefully. But just number balance is really, really important in a tactical first-person shooter like this. So along with that, I've also had several rounds where people are just AFK. And there should be a mechanic where if someone's just AFK for one round they're just gonna get kicked out but it doesn't seem like they actually have that in this game I don't know why but it is something that really needs to be fixed because I've had one round where someone sat at AFK in our spawn for literally five rounds in a row like they just sat there they didn't get kicked because I don't think there's a mechanic or it was glitching or something like that but they just sat there and did nothing and they just stayed in the game and it was really annoying because I couldn't figure out how to kick them like I said I'm total dog shit at this game and I don't know the controls yet but honestly that is something that's really annoying and contributes to very poor gameplay and poor team balance 
So moving away from matchmaking on a technical standpoint in terms of like netcode and lag, I actually had a really good experience. I didn't experience any like rubber banding or stuttering or lag or teleporting. There was a couple of visual glitches and that's going to happen in a beta, but overall it seemed like a pretty solid game in terms of stability, but it is going to be interesting to see how they handle server overload when they have a bunch of different people trying to log on when either the open beta comes out or when the actual launch comes out, because that's just going to be a ton of people trying to play at once. And really, if it's anything like the game is right now it should be pretty solid and stable netcode was pretty solid hit reg was on point and really i don't think it should be too bad although i did see a lot of people on forums complaining about some lag but really that tends to be a lot of times just poor network connection and more times than not people really need to go checking their own wi-fi connections and client side things rather than just blaming netcode and server side problems but uh that's pretty much it for stability it seemed pretty solid when i played it but we'll have to see what happens in the future and anyways the last thing that i really wanted to talk about is the tutorial now, you'd think that in a very competitive and high skill FPS shooter, there would be a really nice tutorial to kind of lead you through so that way people who really have never played these games before could be somewhat familiar with the game and they wouldn't be completely useless when they first enter their first round. So this, however, is not the case. Basically what they have for tutorials is every once in a while you'll have a button pop up on your screen telling you what to do and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't pop up and you're not sure what command to actually perform. And then also the tutorials that are like in game, they have three different videos that you can kind of watch and it rewards you with like 200 coins or whatever the in game currency is. And you can actually spend those on different operators, which is a really cool idea for incentivizing people to actually play the tutorials. But it's not something that you actually do do anything in you just kind of watch the tutorial see what happens and it took a little while for me to figure out what all the gadgets do and what actually to do with like breaching charges and like how to use those and honestly it's something that they really should put in a more in-depth tutorial just kind of something I would like to see, especially where you'd have a lot of noobs kind of coming to this game to see how it is. But overall, I think they're going to do a really nice job when it actually comes out. And hopefully people will just get the hang of it or they'll have a better tutorial system in by then. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm really enjoying my time in the beta and hopefully you guys did get a chance to play it. If not, the open beta is going to be coming up soon. And if any of you guys know when the actual date is, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And if one of you guys gets it right, then I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below be sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time guys stay buttery